Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these delicious fluffo cutout cookies. Get out the flour, the sugar, and the mixing bowls. We're going to make a holiday favorite and a family tradition. Every time I share these at the office, I get asked for the recipe, so here it is on YouTube where everyone can get to it. All right, this is a very basic cookie recipe. The dough is pretty simple. Start out by creaming the sugar. We've got a cup and a half of sugar here and a cup of uh, Crisco. Now, uh, in the old days, we used to have to uh, measure out a cup of Crisco. Uh, my mother used to show me how to use uh, water displacement to, to measure out an exact cup of Crisco. And it was never turned out very exact. So now we've got an exact cup of stick here of vegetable shortening. So we got a cup of that. One and a half cups of sugar goes in that. And then we start the uh, process of creaming that sugar, getting it mixed in with the shortening. Then it's time to add two eggs. Now this will make it easier to mix. two to three teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Make sure you're not using imitation vanilla flavor. It's not the same. You want to use pure vanilla extract. Two to three teaspoons. I would say use three. It just so happens I have just three Teaspoon's handy. Alright, get that all mixed up in there. Okay, now we cream the sugars. That's all done. Now it's time to work on the dry ingredients here. The uh, two and a half cups of flour a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. Now uh, a lot of people make the mistake of using the baking soda they've had sitting in their cupboard for a year or so. Go out and spring for a fresh box of baking soda. It's not expensive and it's fresh baking soda is going to work better. All right, that mixed in there nicely. All right, and now it's just time to mix that dry ingredients into the sugar and Crisco eggs and vanilla, a bit at a time. that's all completely mixed, you'll have a pretty tasty uh, dough. Mm. But don't eat it, you're going to have to make cookies out of that. Alright, before you can uh, spread these out and cut them into cookies and bake them, they need to be refrigerated overnight or uh, in the freezer for an hour. So in a storage bag.
and into the refrigerator or the freezer depending on your time. All right, now the dough has set. And we're going to roll it out, cut it into shapes, preheat the oven for at 325 degrees, and roll this out. Now you're going to want to keep a little bowl of flour handy. Put flour over this. Uh, this is a uh, cheesecloth that I've got here. And I've got a rolling pin with a rolling pin sleeve on it. This is just basically a sock uh, that's been uh, fashioned into a rolling pin sleeve. Get it all covered with flour so that the dough doesn't stick. You'll have problems. This part can be tricky and temperamental. Okay. Let's roll out that cookie dough. Gonna roll it out to about, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch thickness. The thickness of the dough is really going to make a difference. Now I, uh, I tend to use star shapes uh, because they're compact, they're easier to ice, and uh, it's less work getting the, uh, re-rolling the dough. So I'm going to get a sheet of about a dozen cookies per sheet. And as you can see, I've already run out of room to get a full cookie. So this is where the work comes in. You've got to re-roll the dough. get more shapes cut out. Remember to put more flour down so it doesn't stick. Quarter inch there. Okay, a dozen stars on the cookie sheet. Now into a 350 oven for a three. I'm sorry, 325 oven for seven minutes, no longer. Now, of course, oven times are going to vary. I've got an oven that runs hot. Okay, seven minutes, no longer. They may appear underdone. But if you see the slightest bit of brown on any of the edges, that means they're, they're probably a little bit too, uh, too done. So let them finish on the pan. That's one of the most important steps in the whole cookie baking process is letting your, pulling your cookies out early and letting them finish on the pan. Okay, now it's time to make the icing for these cookies. I've baked about uh, four dozen cookies. Batch produces about four dozen cookies. I've got them sitting over there, and we're going to ice them now. So the icing is basically made of powdered sugar, milk, and a half a stick of butter. So I'm going to put the butter in here. I'm going to put some powdered sugar in there. Maybe not all of it. Uh, two tablespoons of milk. And I'm going to start mixing that. OK, 
Okay, it's going to be. Seems kind of thick. It's going to be a question of figuring out how the consistency. I if it starts getting too thick. You're going to add more milk. sugar and milk until you get the consistency. Not too thick and not too thin. It's going to have to spread kind of like melted butter. Oh, and the last thing you don't want to forget, or it won't turn out well at all, is a pinch of salt. Decorate all of your cookies until they're done. And the last step will be to put them in the freezer. That's one of the most important steps with these cookies, is to freeze them overnight, get them solid frozen, and then thaw them before you eat them. Because that's there's something about the freezing process that, that makes the consistency that you want for these cookies. Store them in the freezer in a good container. You're going to want to use wax paper to separate layers of these cookies because the icing will of course uh, stick to the bottom of the cookie on the next layer up. You want to avoid that. So wax paper will help keep the integrity of the icing. Delicious.